All right, on this episode, we're gonna be modifying the sump, oil pump, and the pickup to try and suit the uh, big block into the Commodore and the cross member. So we'll be using the top of this and um, fabricating our own, own bottom basically, along with the oil pickup and pump and we'll be running an external oil pump on this engine. So, same as one of my mates. So, here we go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm the one to get it, bro. I swear to God, I did it, bro. Hey, I ain't never giving up. Yeah, I never did. All right, so first things first, I'm going to get a measurement from the gearbox to the cross member here, which is three hundred and twenty from that face. So I'll just jot that down on me notepad here. 120 millimeters, that's to that face of the cross member. And then um, I'll be cutting these out and these out and um, reinforcing it. But for now, that gives us a measurement so we can measure it on the big block and see where, see where we're gonna be at. So 320. And now we'll go put the timber on the face of the big block and take some measurements there. All right, so we've got our measurement from the cross member. It's 320 mil, doodled it down here. So what we'll do is we'll mark it out from the back, which is this side. It looks like the mounting face is um, firmly in line with the bell housing. Just push that hard up against there. Give us the 320 we need. We can mark it here. It says 320. I'll do the same on the other side. So now what I'll do is I'll score a line up that there. And then I'm gonna mark it off the top of these where the seals are, probably come down about five, 10 mil. And then I'm gonna just mark a line all the way around the edge to the next one. And I'll cut that off. And then that will supply us with where we need to be on this. Um, that'll give us the bottom piece. And then what I can do is I can put a chamfer, like a chamfered plate on here so it'll come down on an angle. Uh, at the back, sorry, to the 320 mark. And then I'll build the sump. Like if you're familiar with um, the Aussie built cars, Holden Commodores, the VS had a bigger front um, bowl on them, the VS and VTs and all that. So I'll probably do something similar to that here. Um, and then I'll extend the oil pump and pickup to, to match the sump. Um, and then that way, because this was a Mer Cruiser engine, it's already had an external oil filter. So all I'm gonna do is plumb the oil pump in line with that. So it br brings it up and then pumps it all through and it'll go back into the same spot and then it'll flow through the engine. So that's the initial game plan here. So I'll get into cutting this and, um, and then we will start fabricating and, and see where we're at with everything. And, um, and then we'll make the oil pick up to suit. So 
we'll see how much room we got and everything like that and then we'll we'll get it all lined up so i'll start cutting this and um we'll see where we are Much, much, much later. All right. <clears throat> so I finally got the two pieces separate. So what I'll do is I'll clean this up so it's not so sharp. And then I'll measure. I've got the three, the 320 marked out. So what I plan on doing is plating the back half that's going to go over the cross member. And then what I'm going to do is I will start to fabricate the sump. So I'll bring the, the wall of it up and I'll bring it to, to a depth probably somewhat similar to that, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and then I'll bring it out and I'll make it wider, like a Moroso pan sort of a style. And then I can fabricate the pickup to suit that. So that should work pretty, pretty well. I've just got to try and figure out what the depth is so I can make the oil pick up to suit. So I'll figure that out and then we'll start getting into plating this. All right, so before we get started on fabricating the sump, I just thought I'd uh, introduce you into a little segment called Drawing with Downsy. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is this. Nice little mud map. So, it's basically going to be a wet sump with a dry sump pump, right? So here will be the pickup for the oil and the pump. It'll have some, some gauze on it like a dry sump has with a little lip on it so none of the solids get into the pump, right? To which we'll be going to the inline on the pump, all right? Obviously, the pump's going to pressurise it and push it out into the oil filter, now the oil filter will then obviously do its bit by filtrating the oil and taking all the shit out of it. And then it will come around and into the in slot on the Mer Cruiser block because they already had separate oil filters and pumps anyways. So into there and then it'll go all the way around the block and do it all this little lubricating things. And then it's gonna come back down into the sump ready to be picked up again and back around vicious circle now you're probably asking but downsy the sump when you gun it it's just all going to flow to the back you're right so here i've drawn another diagram so obviously the pickup raised off the floor of the sump so we don't pick up solids there's going to be some gauze there um like a like a screen like what the dry sumps already have and then we've got measurements, 320 from the back of the block. It's going to be another 280 from the from the block. You can see it here, 280. It's going to be 300 wide by 300, uh, by 280, sorry. And it's going to be 100 deep. So it should hold plenty of oil. Um, it's basically going to look like a Moroso pan. But yeah, so the oil pickup's going to be there. There's going to be a drain plug on the bottom that will be flush with the bottom. So when we drain it, we can get all the solids and everything like that out. But that's how this is gonna work. So this is how the sump's gonna be, all right? So you can see here, this is the piece we've cut off. There's gonna be a top baffle on top. It's probably gonna be about 50 mil long. So when the oil does slosh to, to that wall, it'll, it won't go anywhere. It's not gonna like lap up over and it's not gonna cause dramas. And then there'll be some side baffles in here. So when it does, it'll go in, but it's not going to come back out. And then that way, we should be pretty right under acceleration and braking. So that's how that's going to work. And I've had 
rumors going around that apparently I don't fabricate everything. So I'm gonna take you along on this one. So the haters can just sit there and cry. So anyways, let's get into this sump. All right, so obviously the pan's a bit short and I've got to make the bottom where the back is. Um, so I've cut the piece at 320. That's the measurement we took. Um, it's 320 by 230. Now the pan is actually only 215. I've made it another 15 mil. So when I do bend it, it matches up to the sides. Um, I'm making it out of three mil alley. So what I'm going to introduce to you here is a little jig that I made up back in the heyday to help bend materials. So all you do is you just sort of slide it in. It's got a little groove in there. You can see the gap. So you just put it in there and then you could just bend down on it ever so slightly as you go along like that. and it starts to put a radius on it. Now you're probably thinking, but Chris, that's not a very big radius. Well, that's fine because we don't need a big radius, but you get, you've you got to bend metal gradually. Don't bend it all in one once, otherwise you end up with hairline fractures in it. So just sort of, just knead it a little bit and just keep doing it and keep going as you go. And then, especially with aluminium, because if you're not heating it up, you will get hairline cracks in it and then you lose all structural integrity. So if you just sort of knead it and get it going, and then that way you, you get it to the shape you want, and little bit by little bit, you don't go over the top then. So I'm gonna knead this, and we'll sit it up on there, and then we'll see what it looks like, and we'll go from there. All right. <laughs> All right, so I've bent it up. I haven't tacked it on yet, but as you can see, I bent that. And it's pretty good. That side, that side. So it'll work. And you gotta remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a race car. It's just got to serve a purpose to hold oil and get us down the track, you know? So all these people that are like, oh yeah, but you know, it's not symmetrical and all this sort of thing. Mate, as long as we got the clearance in the center, that's all we want. You gotta understand we're we're backyard racers here, you know, we're not Tim McCamus or anything like that. We're just trying to get our cars down the track as quick as we can. So that's why we do this for the love of it. So homemade jig did the job. What more could you ask for? So now I'll start cutting the box and we'll start tacking it together and we'll see what we end up with. All right, so I've already welded the top piece on. Obviously didn't show you, I had a rough day. I just wanted to get into some welding, so. Um, but this time we'll fasten this piece on and we will start um, getting the rest of it together and then we will just go from there. So I'll do a time lapse and I'll do the whole whole thing and we'll, we'll get it all tacked up, ready to go, ready to be fully welded and then we'll start from there. All right, so here we go. So here's the sump, all tacked up. As you can see, I'll clean the paint off and I'll, I'll weld that up. But that's the front, like that's the side of it. That's inside of it. You can see I've got the two baffles now um, and I'll weld the bung on for the oil pick up there. I'll weld a drain in the front um, and everything like that. So yeah, I'll fully weld this up now 
now that you can all see that I can weld and I actually do make my own parts for the haters out there. So I'll weld this up and then next time you see this, we'll bolt it to the engine and we'll try and see if it'll all sit in there. See what we can do. So all right guys, I'll see you soon.